Welcome to Subscription Drop 6. In this video, we will discuss the initial state operator that is due to Subscription Drop 6. Let's have a look at this scene right now. We have this container filled with a fluid and these fluid particles will react and be confined to this container. Here's the scene setup. It's pretty simple and straightforward. We have our initial state, which is right now doing nothing at all because we want to have the simulation going. We use the flow group operator and some gravity. So as I said, pretty straightforward setup. Let's simulate this. Keep in mind, simulation and recording of this video is all done on the same PC. So as you saw, the fluid collapses a little bit down and bounces a little bit. So this settling state is taking about maybe 50 frames or so. And it would be nice if we can start right away with our fluid with a filled container. And that's exactly what initial state does. We can save the state that we have right now. So we save it. So it asks us to overwrite because we already did that. So the file is saved. So all the particles with all the information velocity and everything is saved out. We turn off the save mode because we don't want to do a simulation anymore. We want to start right away with the simulation. Let me just go one forward, one back. And now you see we start at frame zero with a settled fluid, which is nice because now we don't have to do the pre-roll all the time. So that's how easy and fast initial state operator works. And it works with all kinds of particle setups. This new scene I've just loaded has a couple of hundred screws here that fall down and settle in the bowl. So you want to simulate again, the simulation is done while uh, recording this video. So we have all the stuff here and if you like it and if everything is fine and working, you just go ahead and we'll add an initial state. So we add the initial state right at the create dynamic set. Let me just grab the initial state and we collect, select our group and we connect the in save mode to the position born. And because we already simulated to that point, we can just grab this state and freeze it for our future reference. So we just save that out and I'll name it screws and we'll save it. Now that we have saved the file, all our initial particle positions and speed and velocities are just there right from the beginning. Right now it's frame 82 and we jump back. You see there's no change at all. Our initial state actually uses this as our starting frame. That's about the initial state operator. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out our other feature videos as well.